So this is from, this is from Monte Oban, Mexico. It's showing us a picture of Tiahuanaco in Bolivia, which is thousands of miles away. And when we start to decode the, uh, the uh, sunshield of Monte Oban in Mexico, when we put one on top of the other, we see the Star of David here, there and there. This is one here. You can only do the other one using a geometric line drawing once it's on the computer. You can't actually see it on here. There's a picture of Viracocha, the one, this one off the gateway is there, the one we've just had a look at. And here's a star, star of David representing Judaism. And in here, the carving of Viracocha has a star in his mouth, actually in his mouth. And if we have a look at some other pictures from the, <coughs> Mose, uh, from the Sunshield of Monte Alban, we've got a square here which represents Viracocha, the Peruvian god Viracocha. And here we see Lord Pecal, where the two interlocking circles, the Vesica Pisces, which is a mark of the fish or Jesus, we see Lord Pecal there regurgitating a pearl from, a pearl from his mouth. So he's bowing to the audience, as we saw him earlier in the mural from Bon and Pack. We saw him come out on stage at the end. The two stags were applauding. Here we see him again on this sunshield of Monte Olban with this distinctive hairstyle, regurgitating the pearl that was in the seashell at the tomb at Palenque, showing us he was been reborn. And here we see the brain of Lord Pecal inside his head. We actually see the different lobes of the brain and the different hemispheres here as he bows to the audience that we saw earlier. And if we look at the geometry, what we see is that each of these angles are 60 degrees, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, which is 666. But the other triangle, therefore, if it's the mirror image, they're telling us to do the mirror image here. We've got the gateway of the sun at Tiwanaku. Take the mirror image. We therefore come out with 999. So when we put one on top of the other, we come up with the Star of David. This is a story of the Star of David or the Jew who reincarnated at Tiwanaku. And if we look at Lord Pekal here and the Star of David, then we had the Vesica Pisces inside the uh, sunshield of Monte Olban. So we start to bring all these pictures together and we start to get more and more evidence which tells us that Viracocha, or the man from the tomb at Peru, Viracocha is foam of the sea, was the same man as Lord Pecal of Mexico and the same man as Jesus. And as we start to move the transparencies around here, now what we find is we have, this is the head of a Jewish guy here. There's his, he's got like a headdress on. There's his mouth. He's got two high say, come and listen, come and listen. I want to talk to you. There's his right eye, his left eye, his nose. <coughs> Above his head here, we have a character embracing that square. And in the middle, we have a little baby. And the baby has a square. That's the square of the Freemason. And the next picture we see, there's the baby. You can see the baby's head, his eye, his eye, his nose, his mouth, his shoulders. We next see the baby here with his arms folded with a cross forming the Christian cross there. And then if we look at all of the different pictures here, the light created by the light, we come out with the Freemason compasses, Freemason compasses, the cross of Christ, and the square of virtue, which is, again, all uh, worshipped by the Freemasons. And this tells us that uh, all of these pictures of Freemasonry and, and, and uh, purity, that we were, we've been born here to purify our soul before we go to heaven. If we look at the mask again, there we see another pattern. Try to just, he's got his two arms up like that and he's holding his head like that. And it's the face of Jesus in the middle. And he's got the cross, the wooden cross across his forehead there. Let me point out his eyes. There's his right eye, his left eye. His tongue is out here, just like the Mexican sun god. This is a Vesica Pisces, the mark of Christianity. If we take a picture of that, that's the sketch we're looking at with his tongue out here. I'll go back to it in a second. Two crosses, his hands on his head, which is there. 
Can you see it? Again, it's a lousy projector, so this is giving us problems. He's got his tongue out like the sun god from the amazing lid of Palenque and like the sun god from the Aztec calendar. And we notice that uh, he's got loops around his head, and these are the, the loops from the sunspot cycle. And what we find is we have the entire Bible carved into this picture from uh, Monte Olban, the sunshield of Monte Olban. And here, if we look closely, again, it's pretty awful. Let me show you the, the composite picture first. What we have is a bat here, with his eye's eye, and he's on a cross. This is the cross of Northern Ireland, or the Freemason, the Red Cross. It's not just a two-bar cross, it's a special cross. And it, here we have Jaiti Kutli, the god of fire, with his helmet. They used to cremate people in his helmet, it, on his back. They set fire to them and burnt them. God of sacrifice and fire. So he wore a helmet to keep the heat off his head. We saw him earlier. Here we see his eye, his eye, his nose, and his two, two ears. Like he's got a hole in his earrings there. And that we can see here and here. So Jaiti Kutli is bowing down. He's got the brazier of cremation. That's this thing here. That's in yellow. And inside the brazier, we've got a sacrificed bat. Now, the bat was the god of death for the Mayas and the Peruvians. And his wings are stapled to the cross with two drawing pins. And he's hanging from the cross. Now, with a better projector, you could see that there. There's the head of Jaiti Kutli, the god of sacrifice, his eyes, eyes, nose. Here we have the brazier itself. There's the, bat, the cross going up there and around there, down there and around there. And the crossbars are across there. Here's the bat. It looks a bit like a mouse with his two eyes and his wings hanging down. So this tells us that, he did, that uh, Jaiti Kutli was the god of sacrifice for the Mayas who lived where this mosaic mask came from at Monte Olban in Mexico. Okay, thanks. Right. Okay, we've only got 15 minutes left, unfortunately, and uh, we have that much left. <laughs> so there's no way, I'm afraid, we're going to get through it. But uh, if we look at the bat on the cross there, we come out with a face here, and we come out with the face of Jesus with this white shroud over his head, the man from China that we saw earlier from the Chinese tomb, and we come out with a Mayan priest. That's when we zoom into the, the bat god on the cross there. You can just see the bat and its two eyes and its nose and its mouth. And then we'll just do one more from the mosaic mask because these are hundreds and hundreds of pictures, not just one or two. This is why they're living miracles. Here we see another arrangement, and it shows a cross here with a head of Christ on the cross, and he's cross-legged, and he's on top of a bat. There's the bat god with a V-shaped bat, the god of death, with his wings open. There's a set square of the Freemason, which Jesus is carrying, and the compasses of the Freemason are above his head. They're all contained in that picture. And this tells us that... Jesus was a Freemason who died a pure person. In other words, the bat is the god of death. So he was a pure person who went to heaven. And there we can see a picture from the Bible Moralisi in France from the 13th century. We see Jesus with the Freemason compasses designing the universe. But you can't see them on that picture because it's poor quality overhead projector. And there are lots of other pictures in the... Uh, in the sun shield of Monte Olban in Mexico. And again, if we put, them, if we put the acetate, the transparencies at 66.6 .6 degrees and move them together, we come out with the stag. And the stag with horns was another uh, portrayal of Lord Pekal, the stag, because the sun goes around the... the the earth, the earth goes around the sun every 365.25 days. And the stag sheds its antlers every 365.25 days every year. So the stag became associated with the sun. And because Jesus was the sun, he had a halo. The stag is represented as Jesus, as Lord Pekal, as Viracocha from Peru, uh, 